You always say, son, do the right thing. Be humble. You'll be a better man. Work hard in school. If I could not be good, then to be careful. Do you work? Mainly. I love you. It's not what you do. It's how you treat people. To love the Lord with all my heart and um, to be sincere in everything I do towards him. He's very good at doing his job. And if he didn't, I'd still love him anyway. Dad is really good at helping people, um, just being a gentleman, just all around gentleman. Taking care of us kids. Encouraging people. Um, again, using the word of the Lord. He's very, his faith walk has been strong and it's very, um, very sincere. So he's coming from a very sincere place. Well, he's very gifted. Uh, he was a proud owner of Taylor's Garage. Um, he was a businessman. He, he knew how to flip houses before it became the little flipping slogan. What made me really proud, my dad, my dad didn't get a chance to live that long. Uh, my dad was 42 years old. But as far as I can remember, that we, we always had games and stuff together. We played as a little, as a, as a, I mean, as a little child. I'm proud of my dad because he always says, you, if you don't make a good grade, I still love you, and that's what makes me happy. The compassion that I found out after he passed, how he treated people. Um, he seemed like a hard person when I was growing up, but I realized that uh, he really had a heart and a compassion He's for others. He's a very good man, and he cares for everybody, and he helps. Gosh, I'm going to sound like a broken record, um, but it is. It's his faith walk and his commitment to Christ and um, his love for God and just the, the things that he's been through. He's always been faithful and always been, um, he's always known that the Lord has been on his side. He's never changed what he says about I am him. proud of my dad because of his resolve to not allow the challenges of life to uh, deter him from reaching his goal. He uh, is always trying to work hard to diligently. Uh, locate a way to provide for himself and that really makes care me proud. How you treat him, how you treat other people, how you treat his wife, and how sincere he is to family. I always compare him to John Wayne, but if John Wayne was a cartoon character, I don't know, that big, uh, that big rooster, that, um, I don't even know his name. Superman. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> I would say Fred Flintstone. Yeah, I think he would probably be that foghorn, leghorn rooster. I don't know. He loved me. I was the oldest boy. And my daddy went to work. His rules and guidelines were real strict. And, but we all had that father love. Yeah, that father loved the wars. Mm -hmm. Because every day when he drops you off at school, he says, work hard and do good. My life, and I saw some opportunities and experiences that I thought he was making life hard for me, and I uh, realized he was actually holding me. And he, was, he had my back every step of the way uh, through personal trials, financial struggles. He pretended like I needed to make it on my own. But I realized that he was there to support me if I didn't make it. He so, uh, supports me in everything I do, and he just cares. And she tells me all the time, and he's always been, he's always been daddy. He's always been a provider. He's always been someone who's loved the Lord. Um, he's just, he's always loved his family, and we know it. It's, it's, it's shown. He don't never tell me what I want to hear. He tell me the right thing, you know, whether I want to hear it or not, he's going to be on point. I think that's what love is all about, telling me. Because even when I do something bad, he always get he doesn't spank me or he doesn't do anything. He just mostly says, I love you, but next time use a better choice. 